Hi, and welcome to UWA, the University of Western Australia. If you're an international student, you'll soon realise that Perth might be a bit different from home. But don't worry, in the next few minutes, you'll learn lots of good advice about your safety on the UWA campus and around Perth. This will help you make good choices every day, because personal safety is your responsibility. We're fortunate to have a beautiful campus next to the Swan River in Perth. While UWA is generally very safe and friendly, there are some important things you need to be aware of. Smoking is not allowed anywhere on campus. The University of Western Australia is a smoke-free area. University security officers are here to make sure you feel safe on campus. They patrol the campus 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and they are qualified to give first aid and assist during fire emergencies. When inside campus buildings, be sure you know where to exit if you hear the emergency evacuation alarm. There are four phone numbers that you should know, and keep these in your mobile phone. First, to report an emergency on campus, immediately call the 24-hour campus emergency number 64882222 instead of 000. When you're not on campus, the Australia-wide emergency number is 000. If your matter is not urgent, there are non-emergency numbers for UWA Campus Security and the Western Australian Police for inquiries and reports. Add these numbers to your phone so you always have them with you. There are also help point phones on campus, including at Hackett Hall, Student Central, the Science Library and the Business School if you don't have a phone. You should refer the following campus matters to security immediately. Theft, assault, suspicious people and activities, bomb and phone threats, fire and flooding, alarm system or equipment faults, toxic gases or chemical spills, and medical emergencies. The Perth climate is Mediterranean, usually warm, sometimes rainy, and heat waves in summer are common. The sun is strong, so whether it's hot or cloudy, you should wear SPF 30 plus sunscreen every day here. Make sure you reapply it regularly if you're swimming or playing sport, and using sunscreen with a hat and long-sleeved clothes helps keep your skin protected. Drink plenty of water because it doesn't take long to get dehydrated. There are water fountains and water bottle refill stations around campus. You can ring campus security and request an escort back to your car if you've been studying late on campus. Just call them at least half an hour before you need to leave. Otherwise, walk in well-lit areas and try to study with someone else and leave together. If you feel under threat or someone harasses you, shout loudly or run instead of freezing on the spot. You can get around campus by riding your bike. By law, you must wear a helmet whenever you ride around campus or around Perth. Always lock your bike to a secure bike rack with a D or U lock. An example of a good bike lock is the Kryptonite Evo 2000 U lock for $80. Always lock your car, close your windows and don't leave valuables in full view. Drive with your doors locked at night. If you have a flat battery, campus security can call for roadside assistance or give your vehicle a jump start. Sometimes it's easy to forget that UWA is a public place. Try not to carry around too many credit cards, too much cash or your passport. Keep these in a secure place at home instead. Take your laptop to university in a backpack instead of a laptop bag. Don't leave valuable things lying around in libraries, study rooms or labs. Attach your laptop to the table with a security cable. Back up all your computer files regularly onto an external hard drive at home and the first file on your thumb drives should contain your name and student number or phone number. If you're visiting a laboratory, ensure that you know and follow the safety procedures very carefully. If in doubt, ask your supervisor. Familiarise yourself with what to do in case of chemical, radioactive and biological spills, splashes in eyes and cuts. You should also know where the closest emergency showers are at all times. They look like this. One of the joys of our university campus is the animals, especially birds. Most of these animals are friendly and happy to be a part of your life on campus. If you're lucky, you can see dolphins on Matilda Bay, meet the childcare centre's pet pig Macca, and make friends with ducks, peacocks and swans. Some birds, like magpies, crows and kookaburras, may swoop down to eat your lunch. So be sure to keep it to yourself. And please, do not feed the birds. Then there are those creatures you should completely avoid. Even though Perth is a safe city to live in, there are some important things you need to know about safety. Remember to keep your mobile phone battery charged and make sure you have credit for phone calls. The police are here to help. They play a very important role in the community and are trusted partners with multicultural groups. Police officers in Perth are friendly, helpful and trustworthy. 
Don't be afraid to approach a police officer or visit a police station if you need help. If you have difficulties in English, a translator will be provided to you for free. Despite what you may have heard, the animals in Perth City and surrounding suburbs are usually safe, but can be irritating. Some insects, like flies, mosquitoes and ants, are best avoided, and you can try to do the same with other creatures. Flies and ants especially like to attend your picnics and barbecues in summer, and mosquitoes will visit you at night. Use repellent if they bother you. Here are some animals you should definitely avoid. Snakes and redback spiders are more afraid of you than you are of them, but they are still extremely dangerous. Look out for spiders in your outside shoes and in backyard sheds and fences. Jellyfish season is in summer from December to February. Most are brown jellyfish with a painful but harmless sting, but you must avoid bluebottle jellyfish, which are very poisonous. If you think you've been bitten or stung by something and start to feel unwell, call the Poisons Information Centre. We drive and cycle on the left in Australia, and you'll need a valid Western Australian driving licence or international driving permit. Bicyclists must wear helmets by law. Cars usually have priority over pedestrians on roads, so cross streets only at traffic lights and pedestrian crossings. If you come from a country that drives on the right, remember to look both ways before crossing. When driving in the outback, check conditions and tell someone your plans before you set off. And remember to be extra aware on unsealed roads and bring water with you. Taxis in Perth use reliable meters. Always phone for a taxi rather than hailing one down. Every registered taxi has a photo of the driver and the driver's identification number on the dashboard. Take a photo or record the number and text it to a friend. Public transport buses and trains are clean, reliable and safe, and each bus has a camera inside. Use your smart rider to pay for fares. Take care at night on trains and buses, particularly at secluded stations. Late at night, you can always ask your bus driver to stop anywhere along the route. Ensure you lock all doors and windows when you leave your home, even if you're just going out for a minute. Keep your front door locked at all times, and if someone knocks, don't open it until you know who is there. Don't leave valuable items like phones and laptops near windows, and ensure they are not visible from outside. The ocean might look calm, but rips and big waves are common off the Western Australian coast. Swim only between the flags, as this is the only area patrolled by lifeguards. Stick to shallow areas if you're not a strong swimmer and avoid walking on sandbars at low tide. Raise your arm if you need help in the water. Women can be more vulnerable, especially at night. Try not to walk alone in the dark, but if you do, stick to well-lit and busy areas or call a friend telling them where you are and maintain a conversation on the phone as you walk. Maintain a control over your alcohol intake and inform yourself of the closing hours of cafes and bars, public transport timetables and taxi ranks and plan accordingly. Most of all, follow your instincts or ask advice of local women. Finally, give yourself time to adjust to the Australian culture. Just remember, if you get stuck, a smile and a good attitude will get you far. Ask for help from friendly locals when you need it, and just be as aware as you would be at home. If you see or experience any harassment or theft on campus, please report it through the UWA website. You can be anonymous if you like. If there is danger, call campus security. Here are some other important websites you should know. Finally, you can consult these resources for more information on studying at UWA and living in Perth. Now you know about safety on campus and around Perth. And we look forward to meeting you. See you soon.